In this video, let's talk about the direction of induced current. When I want to, the, the simplest way to uh, produce some electricity is okay, this. Okay, I have um, I have two magnets, okay, and I have the magnetic force, uh, sorry, magnetic field okay, running in this direction. I put a wire in the middle for a while. Then what I do is I try to lift this. Well, let's use okay, let's use um, yeah. Okay. Now I try to apply a force, okay, a vertical. Uh, I try to lift this um, wire out of the page. Imagine this is a top view of the setup. Okay. So I have the magnets on the side, a wire in the middle. I try to lift this wire out of the page, and uh, electricity can be pr produced. Yes, that's true, and uh, yep, it just happened like that. Okay, like magic. Now, the question is, Linz, Linz's law told us the direction of the electrical uh, current, the induced current, the current produced by us. So, actually, by the force. Now, um, to do this question, you need to use your right hand rule again. Okay. But just remember, okay, in this case, it's a little bit different. Now let's look at Linz's law. Linz's law okay, explains that, sorry, tells me that induced current will be in the direction so that it will oppose the change made by, uh, yeah, made by other thing. Now let's have a look what's happened here. We have, if you have a look at the diagram, initially the wire is happily sitting in between the magnets. Okay. What we and there's no electricity generated. Okay. What we did is we try to make it uncomfortable. Okay. We try to pull it out of the page. As a result, the wire wants to go go back to its original position. So yeah, that's always what's happening in nature. Okay? It doesn't like change and it just it tries to go back to its original. So Remember your uh, so what what does the wire do is when we uh, the wire try to apply a force that opposite to the force we applied to it. The idea is the wire tries to push into the page. So now let's use our right hand rule with this. Okay. Remember we pull the wire out. The wire try to pull it himself into the page. Okay. Now. I have the exactly the same question. Okay. I put yep. Okay. I have a upward force. Okay. I have a force. Uh, sorry. Yep. I have a force. Try to pull it outward, but the wire. Okay. We only interested in the wire. So when we use our right hand rule. Our palm should be into the page because that's what does the wire wants. And lies our fingers with magnetic field. My thumb goes upwards. That means the current actually goes upwards. Okay, there's the current. Okay, the induced current. Okay. This is this is what's happened when we try to produce electricity. Okay. Just remember always to oppose the change. Okay, have a look at this question. Now, in this question, I have a magnetic field coming out of the page, and I have a wire twisting in a loop. Okay. This time, someone tries to pull this wire to the right, pull it out of the magnetic field. Okay. Now, have um, according to Linz's law, okay, the wire will always try to oppose the change. 
Okay, say let's say what's happened to the wire. When the wire is put outside, okay, the loop, okay, the loop of the wire doesn't have any ma magnetic field anymore. So the wire is not happy. Okay, because the wire used to have a magnetic field. Now he doesn't. He's he's not happy. What he tries to do is he tries to generate it. Uh, generate the magnetic field by himself because the wire is in a loop. Okay. Now, yep, yep, that's what they try to do. So have a look. Okay. Now, when the wire moves outside, it doesn't have a magnetic field. Have a look at here. Okay. Now, originally it has, and uh, the direction of its original. Uh, Sorry, the direction of its original magnetic field is out of the page. So what does the wires try to do is the wire try to create a magnetic field that is out of the page okay, when it's outside. So then uh, let's use right hand grab rule. If it just magnetic field has to be come out of the page and uh, I grab the wire. Uh, sorry, sorry. In, yeah, inside the loop, it has to be out of the page, and I try to grab it. So I need to, sorry, I need to twist my hand like this, okay, because inside the loop, is I have to grab it, and uh, what's happen is, yeah, the current goes downwards on, yeah, on this side, it goes downwards. Okay. On the downside, it goes to the right. On this side, it goes up. So, so this loop makes when it's outside. When the loop is outside, it creates a magnetic field that's pointing outwards. Okay. So, if you use the rule, you can say the the wire actually uh, have a clockwise has to create a clockwise current. So. What I can do is I can label label this. The current has to be clockwise. Okay. So when it's outside, let me just draw. Actually, just let me let me just draw this. Okay. So when the loop of wire. Sorry to sketch it a little bit differently. It's all side. The current flows from A to B. The current goes like that. So, uh, so the loop can create a magnetic field uh, similar than in the same direction as what it originally have. Uh, then it's going to be a high P for a while, then it disappears. So, uh, yep, so that's the direction of the current. Okay, now we are going to do some more uh, examples on this. Now, the key point is always Linz's law. It's always remember that the wire tries to oppose what the forces do to it. Okay. When the in this in this case, when the force pull it out, it has no uh, magnetic field anymore. The, he used to have it. Then he tried to create this, so there will be a magnetic field. Okay. As the results, okay, we have current flow in the wire.